Having just returned from New York Comic Con, images of superheroes and speech bubbles are still fresh in our minds. With that being said, I can't think of any game that'd be more appropriate for this week's TGIF than Comic Zone. Released in 1995 for the Sega Mega Drive, this game puts you in the heels of Sketch Turner, a struggling comic artist and musician whose latest creation has just been brought to life, thanks to a wayward bolt of lightning. This allows Morris, the main villain of the comic, to escape into the real world, sending Sketch in his place. Once inside the comic, Sketch is greeted by General Alyssa Sion, a leader of a post-apocalyptic resistance group. He's then deemed a superhero, and the only man capable of stopping Mortis and the incoming mutant invasion. Having no power in the real world, Mortis must draw enemies and obstacles to hinder Sketch's progress as he leaps from panel to panel, beating the crap out of anything in his way. What made this action platformer stand out was its oh-so-smooth combat. Sketch could punch and kick his way through foes with a combination of high, low, and jumping attacks. Special items like explosives, knives, and his rodent sidekick, Roadkill, also came in handy when the odds seemed overwhelming. Because the game took place within a comic book, you could bypass certain areas by leaping into specific panels. This allowed for moderate replay value for players who chose an alternate path on the next playthrough. Despite being released late into the console's life cycle, it is well received for its visual appeal, stellar soundtrack, and branching pathways. Comic Zone is a cult favorite that is still remembered fondly today, and that's why this game is fun.